Hello and welcome to the Microwave Engineering Lecture titled Examples of Network Parameters. In this lecture, we will look at two examples of how to obtain impedance and admittance parameters from different networks. For example number one, we will obtain the admittance parameters of the network shown below. Recall that to obtain the admittance, yij is equal to i of i over vj when all other voltages are zero. This is a two-port network. We will first find y11, which means finding the ratio of i1 to v1 when voltage 2 is turned off. This means that we are shorting the second port, leaving us with only V1 and I1. Now the current I1 is expressed as V1 over ZA. Now I1 over V1 equals V1 over ZA over V1, leading to Y11 being equal to 1 over ZA. Now we will find Y12, which means I1 over V2 when V1 equals 0. This means that we are shorting port 1, leaving us with I1 and V2. Now I1 in terms of V2 and ZA gives us this. Simplifying this expression, gives us that y12 equals to minus 1 over ZA. Now for y21, we find the ratio of i2 to v1 when v2 equals 0. This leads us to the same circuit that was used to find y11. But now we have v1 and i2. i2 in terms of V1 and ZA equals to minus V1 over ZA. Simplifying this gives us minus 1 over ZA. Now we will find the last element, which is Y22. Y22 equals I2 over V2 when V1 equals 0, which leads us to this circuit which we saw before. But now we have I2. Now I2 in terms of V2 and ZA equals V2 over ZA. Simplifying this expression gives us Y22 which is equal to 1 over ZA. Putting all the elements together we obtain our Y matrix which is equal to this. Now we will find the impedance parameters of the same network. Recall that the element zij equals to vi over ij when all other currents are zero. Now we will find z11, which is v1 over i1 when i2 equals zero. This means that this port is going to be open, leading to no current. Now Z11 is going to be equal to V1 over I1 when I2 equals 0. However, since we have an open circuit, I1 equals 0. So we have that C11 equals infinity. The same goes for C12, which we obtain by dividing V1 over I2 when I1 equals 0. I2 here is also 0 because the circuit is open, which means that Z12 equals infinity. The same thing is done to Z21. Now I1, since the circuit is open here, I2 equals 0, is going to be 0, so Z21 equals infinity. And as you guessed it, C22 will also be infinity. 
Now here we have our impedance matrix Z by putting all of the elements together. Now we will look at some properties. Is the network reciprocal? Yes. Is the network lossless only if ZA is purely imaginary as described in the definition of a lossless network? Now, here is a more entertaining example. We will obtain the impedance parameters of this T network shown here. Now, we will recall that the impedance element Cij equals to Vi over Ij when all other currents are zero. We will first obtain Z11, which is equal to V1 over I1 when I2 equals zero. This means that this port is going to be open. If this port is open, this means that no current flows to CV. If this port is open, this means that no current flows through ZB. Now, we need to write I1 in terms of V1, ZA, and ZZ. which leads to the expression of I1 being equal to V1 over the sum of ZA and ZC. Putting this into the expression and simplifying gives us that Z11 equals to ZA plus ZC. Now we will find Z12, which is equal to V1 over I2 when I1 equals 0. This means that this port is open and the current flows through ZA, so this is zero. Now we find voltage V1 in terms of I2, ZB, and ZZ. We know that V1 is equal to the current times the impedance ZZ. We put this in the expression and we obtain that Z12 equals ZC. C21 equals V2 over I1 when I2 equals 0. This means that this port is open, therefore no current flows through ZV. This is the same circuit as C11. Now we write V2 in terms of I1 times ZC, which leads to this expression. Now substituting this here, gives us that Z21 equals ZC. For the last parameter, Z22 equals V2 over I2 when I1 equals 0. This means opening port 1 and ZA is going to be 0. Now we write I2 in terms of V2, ZB, and ZC, which leads to this expression. Substituting this in the formula gives us that Z22 equals ZB plus ZC. Putting all of the elements together, we get the impedance matrix Z, which is given by this. Now, is the network reciprocal? Yes, it is. Is the network lossless? Only if ZA equals ZB equals CC, which is purely reactive or imaginary.